All right, guys, so jalapeno popper chicken. Just start by heating up a little bit of oil. That's about two tables, well, maybe even one tablespoon, really, right there. And then we're going to add our chicken next. Okay guys, while your meat is browning, you want to actually be boiling um, your cauliflower because you're going to make it into like a mashed potato, technically. So work on that while your meat boils. Okay guys, next you want to either have your pre-sliced onions, which I just did this time to make this video easier, but normally I just get my own onion and I'll chop it all up. And then I have about three peppers, and I'm going to chop these guys up so I can saute them after the chicken is done. And I'm going to cook it in the chicken just to uh, fat, just to give it a little more flavor. Okay, guys. So next, after your chicken is done, you want to put it in a casserole, and I just kind of laid the pieces out evenly. I have this leftover kind of chicken stock and I did season this with lemon pepper. I like that peppery taste and the lemon just gives it a little bit of a freshness kick. You can choose to do that or not. We are still boiling our cauliflower and I'm going to go ahead and add the jalapenos. Now make sure if you don't really like things spicy, don't get the seeds in there because that's going to make it hotter. Okay guys, I just want to tell you that with your cooking, this is really how you make it or break it with those profile flavors. The meat alone can be boring and dry and not as flavorful, so when you find good seasonings, but the vegetables, using that, you know, the rest of that fat to caramelize these um, onions and the jalapeno, this is what's going to give it depth in that flavor versus if I just took plain onion and jalapeno and skipped this sauteing phase and just threw it on top of the chicken, you the, the, the onion would be a little bit bitter and the jalapeno would not be nearly as tender and soft as it is with me cooking it this way. So um, doing all this has its steps and benefits of this is why you do it. So yes, this can take a little bit longer in caramelizing, you know, onions, but if you guys want really good flavor and really tasty food that you can eat and enjoy, this is where you're really getting those flavors is sauteing those vegetables and your different fats and different seasonings. Okay, so this is how you know your cauliflower is done, is you can pretty much just start to like pull it apart. And this is what's going to make that really nice cauliflower hash but if something's too hard or it's not breaking apart really easy then keep cooking it a little bit longer it just makes your job easier I just want to show you guys if you do not have a potato mash or anything you can do a fairly good job with your fork it's not going to look super pretty and potato like but you can get most of it mashed up with the fork and because if you cook it long enough it should mash up fairly easy just with the fork and then if you have a potato masher that's even better. Okay guys, so now here's where this gets fun. I'm going to add our caramelized jalapeno and mushroom, or mushroom, uh, onion into the cauliflower. And then um, there's several ways you can do this. The first time I did this, I added the whole thing of cream cheese. That hurts my stomach, I don't really like that. So I'm gonna try and just go with like, um, Let's see, even, so there's, I might even try like uh, like a third to maybe even half of this. And I'm going to try incorporating sour cream in mine because I like that taste better and it's easier on my stomach. So I'm going to start doing this and I'll show you guys as we go. Also at this stage, guys, I do preheat my oven to about 350. We're just going to cook all this until it's really warm and incorporated. All right, guys, so I used half a package of cream cheese and I just cut it into chunks and just kind of added it in as I needed to. And then um, I added two tablespoons of sour cream just to kind of give it 
a little bit more of a different taste. Now I'm going to go ahead and just add some seasoning. Now would be a good time to add garlic or salt or whatever you want. What I'm going to be using that I used last time was this Sprinkle Gourmet. <clears throat> it's a, just kind of like a salty mixture. I just like it. So put whatever you like in there and at the end that's when you want to season it to taste. Okay guys, pretty simple. That's all you need to make this dish. Now if you want to, you could add some cheddar cheese into this or a cheese of your favorite whatever. Um, you can either add it into here now or you could sprinkle it all on top when you're done. I actually just have a little leftover cheese from my pizza so I think I'm just going to throw that in because I love Gruyere cheese and a little bit of Swiss. I think that'll give it some really nice flavor and make it really gooey and awesome. Okay guys, it's ready to go into the oven. So here is our casserole and I literally just ladled the cauliflower on top. And now we're just gonna bake it into the oven and just till it kind of looks bubbly and incorporate it and then I take it out. And what's awesome about this dish is it tastes even better the next couple days once everything kind of infuses into that cauliflower and it picks up all the heat from the jalapenos this is really good the other thing what's nice is if you don't like too spicy don't worry the cream cheese kind of helps take some of that down and if it is a little bit too spicy for you um, even when you just taste it before you put it together like this you can add a little bit of sugar or like stevia obviously and just put a little bit on that and that sugar kind of helps cut a little bit of that spiciness and helps bring out that caramelized flavor a little bit more from the onion. Okay guys, so it took me about 10-15 minutes just to get this to boil a little bit. So this is it. This is the jalapeno popper chicken. This is like the number one favorite recipe in my family and it will be eating pretty good. Now I'm going to guesstimate calories on this, but there's probably about, so half, so 60, about a hundred calories for chicken. One, two, this might be about 300 calories per serving. Um, and it's probably about six to eight servings in here, but I just eat until I'm full. I don't really count calories as you guys know. So I just kind of guesstimate on the higher end. I know about how much an ounce of chicken is. So I know how much I'm eating. I can check the cauliflower and the cream cheese. You know, I kind of look at that. So one ounce is about 100 calories. And it was probably a little less. One to, two, to half an ounce. So it's about 100 calories there. The cheese might be about one ounce as well, so that's maybe two, so about 300 calories altogether in that, depending on how much you are eating. So that's my calculation.